So anyway, it could have been that Calvin Huckle. Do you think it was that Calvin Huckle? His his middle name is Jackson. So his name was uh, Calvin Jackson Huckle. So was it that Jackson? Cause, or was it that Calvin Huckle? No, no, no. What I have here is just Calvin Huckle. Calvin Huckle, I first name the song. That's what I have. Attached to the email here. That's what I have here. I don't know what you are saying. I don't understand. All I know is that the phone is here. You want me to go ahead and say this from the start. And I'm going to have an email right now so that you can get me to provide me information. And by then, by the next few days, I'll have the phone. So Okay. Now, I'm sorry, your name is Professor Charles uh, Slodu? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you're a professor? Yeah, yeah. W what's your professorship in? Hello? Yes, your, your professorship. What did you get your professorship in? Hello, hello, I can hear you speak up. Where did you get your professorship? Where did you teach okay. school that you became a professor? Okay, okay, okay. That's in the University of Nigeria, UNA. Okay, that's where you, you taught you taught at the University of Nigeria? Yes. Okay, and you and you got your professorship there and I guess you got your professorship in economics, right? Yes, yes, yes. How did you know that? How did you know that? How did you come about that? Well it makes sense since you're since you're a banker that it'd be economics that you get your professorship in. For example, if you were a, a you know a, a medical student, your professorship would have been in medicine or proctology. But uh, I suppose that that's what happened. Is you got it, and you know if you had been in medicine, no doubt you would have read in the newspaper about the other Calvin Huckle who could juggle ice cream cones with his member, because that was just uh, an incredible thing. I think everybody who's in the medical field has probably heard about that guy. What I'm saying is that right now, I don't know how to start out. I might then let me go ahead and process your transfer and send you the information right now, okay? Okay, you're going to go ahead and send me the, the funds, cause, uh, and, and, and you're going to send me the information for it? Yes, I'm sending you, I'm sending you an email right now so that you can provide me the information. Okay, now just to cover this, what happened is that um, my, my funds from my South African project where I crossbred a duck, a uh, cow, and a pig together to make the duck-cow pig. The funds from South Africa were somehow accidentally sent to Nigeria under my name, Calvin Huckle, and, and, and they're in the bank in Nigeria. And then while in Nigeria, two mysterious men, one of them claiming to be a lawyer that I sent, has attempted to take the money out of the bank they were trying to steal my, my duck pig uh, cow money. And um, so while they were out trying to take the, the duck cow pig money from South Africa that was in Nigeria by accident, you got suspicious because you're saying, hey, what are these two guys doing? They, they look strange to you, right? Because they, they were trying to take the money out. And apparently they gave you a bunch of false documents. Okay. So they were trying to take my uh, duck cow uh, pig money, which I, I earned from a couple years ago, and it somehow got in Nigeria. And so they tried to take it out. So then you emailed me because they put on the form my email address. Yes. Okay. And and so then you uh, so you, you didn't give them the money, did you? You. Okay. So you still have the one million. Uh, one point eight million dollars in the bank still, right? Okay, good. That's for my hybrid project in in Nigeria. So, um, I mean, uh, South Africa. So, anyway, uh, now you know you have that money in there. So now you're going to send me the documents, and uh, well, hopefully we can we can think of figure out a way either to get that money back to South Africa into the proper account, or you can have it sent to my account here in the United States. Would that be all right? Okay, that's great. I, I think that would be uh, the proper way to go, and uh, I uh, appreciate you uh, giving me this heads up. I mean, it would be terrible if, if you got the wrong Calvin Huckle, um, because, like I said, that we got the one who can juggle things with his, with his private parts, and uh, like I said, that was 
really incredible. He really only does the ice cream. I know that sounds hard to believe, but he doesn't like the branch out and the other things. You think at the ice cream thing would get old, you know, juggling ice cream with, with your member, but he does, you know, uh-huh. Okay, so you got another call coming in? Okay, now if it's the other Calvin Huckle, you know, don't, don't, um, don't give him the money, because, uh, he'll just waste it on ice cream. Okay, no, no problem, you go ahead and do that, and, and like I said, don't give any money to the other Calvin Huckle, because his middle name's Jackson, and, uh, he's a real lush, so he'll, he'll spend it all on ice cream and booze. It'll probably combine the two, you know, and get that one kind of uh, ice cream that has uh, booze in it, that uh, rum raisin. Yeah, he probably spent a lot of money on that rum raisin, and then you juggle it and eat it at the same time. Which, when you juggle things with your with your member like that, it's not a very sanitary thing to do. I, I don't think you should do that. You shouldn't juggle things with your member and then eat it in midair. You know, ow, ow. And, uh, frankly, if he had put that in his act... I don't think people would have watched it, you know, especially then when, when he started, you know, eating enough of that ice cream, it would have got him all drunk, and then, you know, he would have, uh, you know, started getting woozy, and, and maybe, you know, he, it, it, I mean, it would have been really bad if he would have thrown up, you know, because, let's tell you the truth, that whole juggling with your member thing, that that's really kind of fascinating, but only to a real select group of people, I, I think people in general, like, he, he couldn't get on the Today Show with that or anything like that, because people would just you know, not be that interested in seeing a guy juggling with his member. I mean, what, what, hello? <laughs> hello? He didn't stay to, to listen to my whole thing? Hello? I, I'm shocked. He hung up on me. Too in the middle of my, my story? That's, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I guess he did. Okay, because it's beeping.